So this one in front of me decided five to five a.m. that we really need to get up and go out. Well, basically yesterday when Ant was here, uh, she got you know as usual two ears, which of course makes you very thirsty. And yeah, she was demanding that she needs to go to pee. And you know, in the yard she already went twice. But then she demanded, yeah, we need to go to the forest. And of course, she was also very vocal that mom has to go with us. And yeah, that's why It's very limited lighting here because it's 5.30 oh. I saw something moving and I thought is it a deer? No No, it's not a green one, it's not. Pretty lazy. Yeah. Pretty... Look. No more. Wait. No more, no. Look, I see the bees in there. No, wait. Wait. Wait, grieve. Oh, my God. You can hear it. Reč, bojim se. Volk me gleda. Glej, Liza je. Sam hoče te povohat. No, dej. Nič ni narobe. No, dej, glej. Vidiš, pridi. Eko. Prav, da si toliko zanimil. Sam ne je lupčkat. Pa pa rekla, halo. Prvi se vidva, pa me zdaj že zalizuješ. Eko, a vi. Joj, glej, bojiš se. Joj. Joj. So scared. But yeah, Lisa knows how to manipulate us to staying or getting her way. Not like, you know, I, I, I have to go back and sniff something. And then, oh, you are here. But yeah, interesting flight response of the dog running in circles. <laughs> I never saw that before. Usually at this time there will be a couple of people here jogging but so far no one and also the parking lot looks kind of deserted only one yeah perhaps too early or those regulars have yeah, only one on this side. Usually when we come here at this time, play like this no, not on us. The Nordim was called Yeah ne we do Brake Muslim Greek. Yeah, but we don't have a crook. Lep crook, ne pa neki.
So we have seen deer here a couple of times in this part. Now we went in this small sliver of forest between the path and the road, which is what, about 20 meters away. Last day, Lisa is keeping a very quick pace. So I don't know if she is tracking a dog or a deer. But she is interested. I did that joke. What she was looking. Don't see anything. And another car here. Uh, very strange. Okay, it's Wednesday morning. Perhaps because of this. Okay, I decided we will make the whole video, the full walk through the Mostet forest. Water. Yeah, TJ, every time we came here, he needed to go in. Interesting, I don't know, it, it was raining yesterday, I haven't seen, or perhaps it, uh, it's still water from the previous night, when it was definitely raining. Oh, another. And a little bit more. Still some logging going on. Yeah, but the forest will never be the same. After that, uh, event in 2014, I believe it was. You know, I think it, it, it was what? In May when the fr not frost, not only the frost, but on also the ice destroyed. And there was even a little bit of snow, if I recall correctly. Yeah.
uh, at least one runner. Kaiti. Uh, I don't know who removed the bark. So a while I was in Austria, I read one article that in someone's forest, unknown person or persons stripped away bark from several, more than 10 I believe, trees. I think there were pine or something like that and of course which means in about a month they will die so even they don't know what were they doing or was just you know pure vandalism on grand scale or perhaps you know um there are some subspecies of that tree which are highly valuable but you don't know if uh, you don't know until you know strip away the bark But yeah, we also have, you know, that illegal logging going on here in Slovenia. We are, what, the third most forested country in Europe. I think, what, behind Sweden and Finland. Pidi, is water? We will see if she will go in the water. Nee, 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 water. Water. Is there water? Is she water? No. No. She's not interested. Well, yeah. One problem when you're walking so early, there, is, there was no other here before you is that you're collecting all the spider webs or single you know strands of the web all around when you're walking by the trees and bushes uh, Lisa is still on the pace still keeping some Imaginary schedule. But yeah, on this section, we have seen uh, deer several times on this hill. Where is mom? Oh, we lost mom. Somewhere behind the oh, there is. Someone is walking on the trail below.
Uh, usually with TJ we, we would be here you know every morning in the summer we had you know like 20 minutes to the forest 20 minutes around the forest then 20 minutes back yeah that was our morning routine with Lisa every day is a different route so far no deer has been seen or even heard. Kaki. of more minutes when we are out with TJ we actually we didn't take the same route in and out well sometimes out well we took basically the same route to the forest but we took another trail to the recreational center so with Lisa I usually take the the most outer one and to my end now so that we make a, a nice let's say loop a circle like path but with TJ we usually just took the shortest in the shortest out or we let's say sometimes we went on this trail down depending on time or if TJ wanted to go but as you can see Lisa knows the roots very well and dictates the roots watch us Lizzy yeah. this part of the trail because of, of all of these exposed rocks and this you know compressed soil Lizzy 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 Pochasi okay today there is not not a lot of trouble plus you know the tree roots all over the place and in the 
winter or even in the fall, autumn, it's quite slippery here. Especially because, you know, they get like a layer of, I don't know, mucus, algae on them. Lizzy! She doesn't slow down. Okay, so let's say it will be like 23 minutes when we are down. So a little bit longer than with TJ. But yeah, we used two most, let's say, opposite routes, trails in the forest to get in and out. But yeah, it was a nice walk. Now we just need to get home.